Public transportation has the potential to be a city's lifeline. By reducing congestion and improving opportunities, bus systems like Greenville County's GreenLink have the ability to move people and the city forward. Ideally, public transportation should provide personal mobility and freedom for people from every walk of life. It should provide access to schools, work, healthcare, and more, enabling those without cars or other forms of personal transportation to participate fully in all that the city has to offer. To ensure that the benefits of public transportation can be accessed by all, the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990 was established the Act sets minimum requirements for space layout in order to facilitate wheelchair securement on buses and at bus stops. A bus stop that's compliant with the Americans with Disabilities Act has a couple of standards it needs to meet. It has to have a firm, stable, level surface for the wheelchair to roll on. It has to have a sidewalk that's connected to other destinations and includes curb cuts and a cross slope that's appropriate for the wheelchair and just as a way that's accessible for the person to get around. And unfortunately, that's not the case with the majority of GreenLink bus stops. Greenville resident Carol Turpin shares her experience of riding the bus with a disability. Oh yeah, I, I do ride it sometimes. At the bus station, it's pretty easy, but at the stops, no. Piedmont Health Foundation decided to do a study of transportation because we realized that it is fundamental to folks' access to health care, jobs, education, and more. And of course, this is extremely true for a wheelchair user who may not be able to drive their own vehicle. When we did the study that looked in depth at the accessibility of GreenLink stops, we were dismayed to find that so many of them are inaccessible. After analyzing the bus stop data, we found that a quarter of stops are on grass, gravel, dirt, or other surfaces that aren't conducive to wheelchair use. Also, a quarter of stops don't have curb cuts, and half don't have a level cross slope. Overall, we found that only about 5% are ADA accessible and available for wheelchair users. There's a lot of work going on right now in Greenville to improve people's mobility in the community. Part of that is a large study of how all of GreenLink works and how it connects people to opportunities in the community. And an important piece of that is this ADA accessibility for our bus stops. So this will be rolled into a large study that GreenLink is doing as it looks at remapping all of its routes. And it will obviously base those on what stops are already accessible because the goal, not just because it's morally important, is to have all stops accessible, but because it's the law and it has been. So this study is a really key piece of getting GreenLink and Greenville County accessible to wheelchair users in our community.